Today, we'll be demonstrating the product setup for the JET 20-inch floor drill press. Be sure to reference your instruction manual for important safety instructions, unpacking tips, and cleanup prior to assembly. Once you have the tools required, you're ready to get started. Once you have the machine on a level floor, place the column assembly onto the base and align the holes in the column support with the holes in the base. Using a 19mm wrench, secure the column with four M10 by 40 hex cap screws to the base. Insert the worm gear shaft through the hole in the bracket and mesh with the worm. Now position the rack in the U-slot of the bracket with the arrow pointing upward and slide this assembly together onto the column. Next, slide the rack ring over the column, placing it so it rests against the rack. Tighten firmly with a 3mm hex wrench. For the crank handle, loosen the set screw on the table crank handle. Then slide the handle onto the table bracket shaft. Turn the handle until the set screw is opposite the flat section on the shaft and tighten the set screw to secure the handle. Next, thread the column lock handle onto the table bracket. You'll need a second person for the head assembly as well. Together, carefully lift the head onto the column top and slide it down into position. The head assembly is heavy, so be very careful when lifting onto the column. Now, rotate the head assembly until sides of the pulley cover are parallel with the sides of the base. Tighten the two set screws with the provided 5mm hex wrench until they're snug. Lastly, install the three downfeed handles onto the downfeed hub. For the chuck and arbor installation, we start by thoroughly cleaning the internal and external taper of the arbor, chuck, and spindle. It's important that these three pieces must be free of any rust protection or lubricant. If they're not clean, the arbor and chuck may fail to seat in the spindle. Once it's clean, place the arbor into the chuck and twist the chuck to fully retract the chuck jaws. Use a few taps from a rubber mallet or a hammer and a block of wood against the bottom of the chuck to seat the chuck securely into the arbor. Be sure not to use a steel face hammer directly against the chuck. The final step is to attach the chuck guard to the spindle collar and tighten the screw. The guard can be flipped up for chuck access. If you have any questions, please consult your instruction manual and don't forget that each JET tool comes with our red assurance guarantee. If your JET tool needs service or repair, one of our 750 authorized service centers located in all 50 states can assist you. Contact our support team today to find a service center near you.